second full day here in Sydney, and I am loving it. Sydney is a, uh, I, I had heard a lot about, uh, you know, Melbourne, going to Melbourne, and Melbourne, you know, hats off to Melbourne. Melbourne is, is a great city as well. Um, Sydney is, uh, I'm trying to think how I could, how, how I could describe it. Um, a lot of people would say Sydney's more hustle and bustle and just big city feel. And uh, it does have that, but uh, I, I like it. And um, I'm enjoying Sydney very, very much. So I bought a metro ticket for that will be good for one week. It cost me $65. I can take boats. I can take, uh, I can take trains. I can take buses. Um, the only thing I can't take, I think, are planes with the, uh, with the pass that I have. Anyway, so I'm looking forward to the week here. It's pretty much work as usual for me um, since uh, yeah, I've, I've got a, a big workload that I need to do. So I'll fit in some sightseeing attractions. I have an email into the Harbor Bridge Walk to see if they'll do what's called a famille trip. Uh, that's a, it's basically a freebie. Um, and uh, also to see if they'll make an exception and let me take my GoPro camera. So that's something that I'm certainly hoping for. Um, anyway, Sydney is a um, Sydney. It's kind of like a uh, it's kind of like a Budapest that speaks English. So I, I love I love living in, in Budapest. Maybe it's just that I love living in a big city and I don't know it. Um, but uh, anyway, so um, the couple of thoughts that were going through my mind was that uh, I'm going to um, just stay here for I, I, I'll actually go home a week from tomorrow. Today is Wednesday, so I go home a week from tomorrow, and uh, so I've got a full week here. The, the only things that I really want to do other than just kind of saunter around Sydney, that sounds like a good phrase, saunter around Sydney. The only other, other, other than sauntering around Sydney, um, the only things that I really want to do is uh, I want to do the bridge walk, and I want to go up to the Blue Mountains. Um, I want to go check out some of the beaches, you know, around here. They have little harbors within Sydney. Within Sydney Harbor, they have, uh, you know, like, I guess they call them sub-harbors or something. But, uh, so anyway, I want to go and, and check that out. So, uh, so we'll see how the week unfolds. Another thought that I was having regarding these, these videos, the other day I, was, I had my, I, my phone and I was flipping through all of the videos that I've done over four months. And i got to tell you that uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm amazed. And amazed in that, uh, you know, I, I, I've been very, very committed to um, to doing these these videos, and uh, and you know, some people ask me as to my motivation for doing the videos, and you know, I, I look back on these these videos that I've done over these four months, and and it's like I can relive this entire trip any time that I want. Um, so that's that's my motivation for doing the uh, doing the videos. Also, there's another thought that's been going through my mind, and it's uh, it has to do with a comment made from somebody named uh, I think it's PMC uh, PMC something or another on one of my recent uh, monologue videos. I think it was called the Big Day or something like that. And he or she, I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming it's a woman. Um, made the comment something along the lines of you know all I really need is a hug because it seems that I move freely from one woman to another uh, with no recourse. And I think she's referring to the, uh, the visits that I had with, you know, with um, Nina in Melbourne and Susie up in, in, in Cairns. And as I do these videos, you know, these are just people that I find off of Airbnb. They could also, you know, they could have just as easily been Bill and Bob, you know. Um, I just look for, uh, when I'm looking for accommodations, I look for a place that's, uh, that's nice to, looks nice to stay in and, and that's cheap. You know, that's for, you know, that, that's, that's, those are my two major prerequisites. If, if the host happens to be cute, you know, all the better, but, uh, it's not like I'm going sleeping around with these, these hosts. The guy down in, uh, Melbourne that I stayed with, Kenneth, he had made that observation as well. And he just made a casual comment that I, I travel around sleeping with all these Airbnb uh, you know, women. And, and I showed him, I, I logged into my Airbnb account, and I actually showed him all of the guests, uh, host, I should say, that I've stayed with over four months, all of uh, 15 to 20 of them. And uh, I think out of the 15 to 20, you know, as I was going through the list, I was saying, Kenneth, would you sleep with him? 
uh, would you uh, sleep with him? Would you sleep with her? You know, an 85-year-old lady. Um, you know, would you do a threesome with this couple, you know, that I stayed with? So, uh, no, I am not going around traveling around sleeping with Airbnb hostesses. Um, not that I wouldn't necessarily uh, want to, mind you, but uh, but I'm not. I, I am not. Uh, I don't know how I come across to some people. Maybe I come across as a uh, as a player or something like that. But uh, nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, when you watch the video that I upload tomorrow, uh, I, I upload tomorrow the Skyrail trip. There's a song in there by John Denver um, called Shanghai, and it's a song that I had emailed to uh, Ina. I said her name, Ina. Uh, that's the woman that I promised I would never say her name. Well, okay, I broke my promise. So when I was uploading that video with the uh, with the song um, with the song Shanghai by John Denver, tears were coming down my eyes because uh, God, I loved her so much. You know, after years, I thought that I had finally found love, and uh, and I had so much hope. You know that uh, that Ina would love me, and um, and she just couldn't find it in her heart to. So uh, a couple, I think it was about two weeks ago, I was having a conversation with her and she just basically came out and said, I'm not the man for her. And uh, broke my heart and I just, at that point in time, I just, it hurt too much to, to keep corresponding with her. So I just, uh, I just broke off all communication with her. But uh, no, but I, I that, that, um, Ina, Ina was probably, not probably, Ina has been the highlight of my trip as well as the biggest disappointment of my trip. Um, so, you know, it, life is what it is. You just, you just move forward and uh, maybe someday I'll find a, uh, maybe someday I hope and pray that I'll find a, uh, a woman who, who, will, who will have me. So who knows, maybe she's here in Sydney. All right. Anyway, have a great uh, have a great day and uh, take care. Okay, bye bye.